In this video, we're going to use cost, revenue, and profit functions. Suppose the price, demand, and cost functions for the production of leaf blowers is given respectively by P equals 758 minus 0.4x, and C of x is equal to 557 plus 83x. So we have P, which is our profit equation, and we have uh, C, which is our cost equation. Oh, sorry, that's not a profit. That's our price equation, and C is our cost equation. And it says where X is the number of leaf blowers that are sold at a price of P dollars per blower, and C of X is the cost of producing X leaf blowers. Find the marginal profit for manufacturing 150 leaf blowers. So I can tell you the marginal profit, it's the first thing we should start with, is equal to the profit equation, the derivative of the profit equation. Well, we don't have a profit equation yet. We have an equation for price, which is kind of weird. Uh, but you need to realize that when you buy things in bulk, they typically give you a discount. So this negative 0.4x is representing like the discount part for our price. Uh, and so we don't have a we don't have a profit equation yet because we don't have a revenue, and then we haven't applied that revenue to this cost equation. So let's first find a revenue equation, and the revenue equation is going to equal the number of units you sell times the price. Well, that would be x times 758 minus 0.4x, which is equal to 758x minus 0.4x squared. And then our cost equation is 557 plus 83x. So we can go ahead and now find our Now we can find our profit by saying that our profit equation is equal to our revenue minus our cost. Now our revenue, let's say we're a company that makes $6 billion. Uh, that year we made $6 billion. We subtract out our cost, which was $4 billion, and that would be our profit, which is $2 billion. So that's what we're doing here. We're taking our revenue, which is $758 x, 758x, and we're subtracting out 0.4x squared. So that's our revenue equation minus our cost equation, which is 557 plus 83x. If we distribute there, we get 758x minus 0.4x squared minus 557 minus 83x. Now, let's combine like terms. So we get 758 minus 83. So we have negative 0.4x squared plus 675x minus 557. Now, we know we need to take the derivative of the profit equation to find the marginal profit. So margin profit is equal to the derivative of the profit equation. If I take this derivative, I get negative uh, 0.8x plus 675. They want us to find the profit after 150 leaf blowers. So I'm going to say MP of 150 is going to equal negative 0 0.8 times 150 plus 675. So if I go ahead and take negative 0.8 times 150, add that with 675, I get $555 for our marginal profit. And that's the...